Perfect. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a fill on these nails that you can see that look extra crusty. Um, I had these nails done three weeks ago and it's time to remove the design and start fresh. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany. I also go by your nail plug X. I'm a licensed nail technician and I specialize in in-person services with gel and acrylic. And I also do e-commerce and press on nail business. Here on my channel, I like to discuss anything that's nail related. Nail business, tutorials, how to's, DIYs, anything that's about nails, I'm going to discuss it here on my channel. Okay, so as you can see, I've already started to take off the embellishments and the gel on my nails so I can prep my nails for a fill. I'm just using one of my coarse drill bits to remove all of the gel from my nails, so I'm going to do this on all five fingers <laughs> and in this video i am only showing you my left hand um, because it is so hard to do nails on camera so i'm just doing the left hand for this tutorial <laughs> all right now that i have taken most of the gel off i'm just going to use my cuticle pusher and i'm going to push back the cuticles on all of my fingers and you don't have to be super rough when you're pushing back your cuticles just you know push back enough and scrape and make sure you can expose all of that dead skin there that we can buff off here in a moment. Now I'm going to take one of my cuticle bits and this is one of my favorites to use because it lays flat to the nail. You're able to lift up the cuticle bit and push it back so it's easier to cut. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, so we're just going to go around the cuticle and then, you know, buff on the side, exfoliate the skin a little bit, and then push back the cuticle with the tip of this uh, barrel. All right, now that we have buffed around the cuticle area and lifted some of the skin up for us to cut off, I'm going to go in with my cuticle scissors. So I have been practicing using these cuticle scissors recently over my regular nippers. They are a little bit harder to use, but they get closer to the cuticle area and cutting everything and makes it look so much cleaner. I don't know which one I prefer, honestly, right now, I'm still learning, but comment below which one you prefer. And when you're cutting your cuticle, just make sure you're not cutting any live skin. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do around my cuticle is just take the little cuticle ball uh, drill bit and I'm just gonna go around the skin lightly and I'm not gonna be pressing into my actual nail plate. I'm just using this on the skin to buff any skin that might be sticking up and just to exfoliate that area. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my sandy band and a medium grit, and I'm just gonna go in and rough up the new nail growth, and I'm gonna remove any of that black gel that's still left around um, the previous gel that I had on my nails. And the reason I didn't get the black gel around the cuticle area um, with the last drill bit that I had on the coarse one, because I didn't want it to like touch my natural nail and like file too much, which will cause some damage. So I just go in with my sanding band where it's gentle and I can buff that off very easily. All right, now I'm just gonna take my Valentino dehydrator and go in on all of my nails and just use that on all of the new growth that's exposed there um, to make sure it's completely prepped and dehydrated. So that way we can go in with primer and then we can go in with our acrylic. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my Young Nails Protein Bond Primer and go in and do the same thing, add this to all of my five nails. And as you'll see in this video, I'm using different products. So I'm not using uh, like all of the Valentino or all of the Young Nails or all of the Kiara Sky. Sometimes I mix things up, but it still works. You know, my nails still last. I went three weeks without any lifting for my last set and I did the same exact process. Um, so it doesn't always have to be the same brand. I know sometimes it recommends that and I've, sometimes it can cause problems, sometimes it'll work great, it all depends. It's also a, just a trial and error situation where you just test out some things and see how it goes. But now that the nails are fully prepped and ready to go, we are just going to go in with our acrylic now and we're gonna fill in. And I'm also gonna reshape my nails a little bit because as you can see, the tips are a little bit <laughs> like going inwards, like a coffin almost, like the coffin shape, which we do not want. And that just happens from, you know, wear and tear daily. And then also my exposure to acetone in the files when I'm doing my client's nails. So when I need to reshape my nails into the square shape again, I just add acrylic to the tip as you can see, and I just go ahead and build off the sides a little bit and I blend it downwards. Um, and then I eventually just blend it all together, but this will help me get, you know, a better shape than I had before. 
And you can see here how the shape is coming together a little bit better, um, which is great. So with the Kira Sky acrylic, I've noticed that sometimes it's not fully blended. So when I'm putting it on, I'll have like a piece of pigment in there, which we like a dark, like for this color and like one of the other colors I use, it's like a very dark brown color that will just like bleed into the rest of the acrylic, which I don't really like that, but I don't know. Let me know if you've had that problem. On to the next step. All right, now that we have our acrylic laid and it's fully dried, I'm gonna go in with um, one of my drill bits. This one is like, what, which one is this? It's a medium safety bit, whatever. You know, guys, I am horrible with the drill bit names, <laughs> but this one's one of my favorites to use. It's a medium grit, um, so it gives a smooth surface and it really helps me like debulk the nail. So I'm just gonna go in and debulk the nail and um, just kind of crisp up that shape there. And here's how the thumb looks after that. And now I'm just gonna go in and do the same thing to all of my other nails, which is I'm just going to debulk the nail, clean up around the cuticle area and reshape the nail just because this is a little bit faster, a little bit easier versus me using a regular sanding band or if I go in with a regular hand file. Okay, this is our next to last step to finish our acrylic fill today. I'm just gonna go in with my sanding band, seal the cuticle area, and completely smooth and buff the whole entire nail and just finish up anything I didn't do with the last drill bit. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna go in and with my hand file, this is the last portion of filing, our last step really in this fill. Um, so we're just gonna go in and just touch up all the sides there up near the sidewall and just on the top, just to make sure that I have the shape that I want. Everything looks crisp and clean. Uh, these hand files, I got off of Amazon because I needed something like immediately but they're horrible, I wouldn't suggest them. But I do have some files linked in my Amazon storefront that are great and I do recommend those. They unfortunately were just were out of stock when I needed to order these last week. <laughs> okay, so I have washed my hands and brushed my nails clean so there is no debris or dust on there. And now I'm gonna go in with a nail design. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do today, but I was like, it should be something fall. It should be something cute. It should be something a little bit edgy, like my style. So I'm gonna go and, and do a tortoise shell uh, nail design today. So I'm not exactly sure why I haven't ordered a transparent brown and orange yet. I really don't know, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna make my own transparent color. So as you already saw, I put a base coat down um, on the palette. I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of this orange color to give me a transparent orange for the base of the tortoise shell nail design. I'm just gonna make sure this is fully blended before I put this on my nails. And for like the ratio of how much gel, like color gel to base gel is really up to you. Whatever color that you wanna go for, you know, just keep blending it, add it a little bit at a time to get the color and consistency that you want. All right, so I'm gonna go in and put this on. So <laughs> I'm gonna be going a little bit slow with my nail design here because I am just winging it. I'm totally freestyling this. I know that I wanted to do a tortoise shell, but I just didn't wanna do like a cutesy, like minimalistic tortoise shell. If you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it, but just look up like tortoise shell on Pinterest and I'm sure that you'll see what I'm talking about and I'm rambling, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay to ramble sometimes, right? <laughs> 
All right, I have to go on some French tips. Like, a nail design cannot be complete without some sort of French tip involved, okay? I don't know if you guys love French tip as much as I do, but it just elevates the nail design. It looks so good. You can do so much with it. It's so classy and fun, and it looks great. Um, it's a classic for a reason. Right, so I have the base on all the nails for where I want to do the tortoise print. Um, so I'm just going to take this very dark chocolatey brown that I got from D&D. &D. This is really pretty. This is like one of the best browns that I've had. Um, anyways, I'm going to take my blooming gel now from Mia Secret. And I'm going to put this over top of all of the color that I've added to my nails. With the blooming gel, I'm just going to do one nail at a time. That way I make sure I get the spread effect that I want on each nail. Um, if I was doing this on a client, I would probably do two to three nails at a time. So as you can see right here, I went in with a dotting tool. I actually went back and I redid this nail because I hated how it started to look. I mean, it looks cool, but it wasn't the, it just wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. So for the next nail, I'm going to show you what I actually did. Um, so I went, in I went back in with the blooming gel over top and then I took my flat ombre brush from Nails by Dev and I just went in with a little bit of that dark brown color and I just kind of blotted it on in different spots. But you see how much better that looks. Like it looks so much more realistic and not as, um, I guess, like it blends way better. So for this nail, I actually did cure in between adding the black and the brown, um, but this is not what I would recommend. I would say go in with the blooming gel, add the brown, and then also add the black. But since I was just freestyling this and I was just trying to see what would look best and work best, I just did it this way, um, but it does take a little bit longer. It still gets the same effect, but you can just go in with everything at one time. But you see how much better that looked. It just looked so good when I did it that way. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on all of these nails. I'm gonna add the blooming gel. I'm gonna go in with the dark brown and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the black in the inside of the dark brown just to give it that shell look. Here's how all of the nails look now that I have the design on it, but I do not want to stop there. I can't stop there. There always needs to be a little bit more pizzazz to the nails. So I'm going to take my gel, uh, my black gel nail art, gel, whatever. It's very thick gel made for painting on the nails <laughs> um, from Madame Glam. And I'm going to take my nails by Dev liner brush and I'm going to put some of the Neo Tribal print on there. I'm obsessed. Like I just feel like it just makes nails look so much better so much better. Do you guys agree? I just feel like it makes the nails look so much more like edgy and not so like delicate and sweet. And I just love an edgy looking nail. But I'm also thinking like, why stop at the Neo Tribal print? Why not add some barbed wire to the nails? Like we wanna be like, it's fall time, but I'm not playing. I am ready to kick ass with my nails, okay? That's always what I wanna give. Like, don't mess with me. My nails are telling you to stay away. Back up, back up six feet. But also be close enough that you can see how badass my nails look and you can compliment them and I can feel really good. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video and you like other videos like this, feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I post more tutorials, how-tos, and other short form content that you can consume in under 60 seconds. And if you're looking for affordable nail art supplies to do DIY nails at home, start a presto nail business, or anything for your nails in general, use the link down below to go to my Amazon storefront where I have things there for you that you may find useful.
right, so now that we've added all of this on here, we need a little something to make it pop. So I'm gonna go in with this white um, like painting gel. It's really good for nail art. You can get this on Amazon for like $36, I think, and you get like 30 colors in it. It's really good, I recommend it. So I'm just gonna go in and add some pops of white with the same Neo Tribal print designs on uh, the full covered nails. If you're still watching this video, please give a thumbs up and drop a nail emoji in the comments. I would greatly appreciate that. That helps boost my video in the algorithm. And if you're interested in more videos like these, please subscribe. I'll be posting throughout the month. I don't have any set days, but I will be consistent with fun nail tutorials, business talks, and so much more. All right, now that I have the white on there, I'm just gonna go in and cure one more time. And then I'm going to add the top coat because we were finished with this nail design today. I didn't add any bling or any embellishments, but that's okay. I really like this nail design. It's very fall. It is my style. I think it's cute and I think it'll match like mostly everything I'd wear. So I don't know, let me know if you'd wear this nail design down below. And we're gonna go in with some cuticle oil. You know, you cannot be crusty. You cannot have the cute nails and have crusty looking cuticles and dry hands. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here's the finished result. Very cute. I love these. Um, I love a good freestyle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.